Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, my name is Inga and this channel is all about healthy lifestyle, food and commitment. Uh, today's video is going to be my little shopping haul. I will not keep you waiting for long. Let's dig in. I would like to start with the cream cheese. So I've bought this Milbona, if that's the correct way how to um, pronounce it. I bought the so light soft cheese and I bought the um, herbs, herbal soft cheese. Per serving there is only 1.1 um, gram of carbs, 0 0.9 in the blue one. So it's really, really good. Um, healthy option for any kind of diet not only for keto diet but obviously because of the fat and all the other goods that it has i got this for my keto diet next thing that i would like to show you is mozzarella mozzarella is one of the go-to foods for me on keto diet so i'm Obviously, most of my shoppings I would always buy mozzarella. Mm, the same brand as the soft cheese, I got this halloumi. I love halloumi in my salads. I love halloumi just like that for breakfast. For some wraps, it's really, really good and healthy option. And what I love about the halloumi, it melts in really high temperatures, so it doesn't melt really quickly. So you get to grill it, which most of us do now already anyway. But yeah, the halloumi is, I'm generally a cheese person and halloumi is one of my favorite this. Um, another diary product that I picked is the British butter and I really prefer salted version because for keto diet in general, um, salty foods is good thing, um, obviously not too much but um, it's good thing for keeping up your, your salt levels because you drink a lot, you rinse out a lot, <laughs> so yeah and it helps to keep up with your energy. So fat and salt, very good. I got this sour cream. As a Latvian, um, I generally love sour cream because we basically grew up on sour cream. Like this is one of the products and one of the things that I think most Latvians are having in their fridges, it's a sour cream. We use it for salads, for sauces, for baking, like, Sour cream is just a must for a lot of you. <laughs> Therefore, I got this sour cream. And if you have a look at my Instagram account, um, in there you will find quite a lot of pictures where I have my salads made with sour cream. So yeah, have a look down there. <laughs> Next thing that I bought is the double cream. And double cream, I do drink my coffee with double cream or it could be also single cream, but yeah, my morning coffee mainly would be um, coffee, MCT oil and um, double cream. Again, it's just one way how to get your fats in. Next thing that I've got, talking about another dairy product, is this um, diary, it is real diary, but it, it is less fat, but it also is less sugar than the full fat one so I did pick this one I like to use it together with my iced coffees per 100 grams it's 11.4 grams of carbs which 7.5 is sugar but you never really have um, 100 grams I also use it with my strawberries or or my blueberries adding some seeds or chia seeds when I said seeds I make I meant mixed seeds or chia seeds or um, nuts, almond flakes and things like that, yeah, so it's, and you can see that it does suggest you to have it with strawberries, so pretty good option. Full flavored cheddar cheese, like any soury dish that I cook, I love cheddar in it. I'm cheese addict, and again, could, could you be on any better diet, like could you have any better diet where you could actually have cheese, so mm, I'm loving it. Keto and cheese. And I got two of those because mozzarella is um, a thing that goes quite fast for me. I like to... I'm not sure if I have showed you in any of my videos, but I'm making mozzarella wraps. And also when I do my little cheese pâtés with psyllium husk, I also use mozzarella for it. But it's a very good pizza base and things like that, so 
yeah, I always have some mozzarella in my fridge. I see quite a lot of fellow YouTubers who are preparing their foods in advance, like cooking for a whole week and stuff. I can't do it. I literally cannot do it because I like to eat what I want to eat, what I like to eat at that particular mo moment. So if I, for example, would cook yesterday and today I would have to eat it, most of the times I wouldn't eat it because I just don't feel like having it. Not because I don't like the food, but because, and not because I have anything against the food, like reheated food or, or anything like that. It's just, I like to prepare what I want to eat at the time. Another dairy product is this Parmesan. Parmigiano. Any Italians want to correct me? <laughs> so yeah, I got the Parmesan. And I love to have it with my, let's say, Caesar salad and many others. If I'm having keto pasta, like uh, keto spaghetti and stuff, I also love to have it. Another go-to thing for me. I guess that's it with the dairy product. Avocado. It's been so long since last time I got avocado. For some reason, like the very beginning of keto, I was like in love with avocado, but now I'm, I would buy it, but it would just stay there and I wouldn't eat it. And then I feel like I'm wasting it. So I haven't been buying avocado for a while. I did get it now because I do tend to put it in salads, but I've wouldn't mind to bake something with it as well. So I got the cream cheese, I got avocado, I got, um, huh, I got something else that I'm gonna show you in a bit that I will use for my baking, but yeah. Um, then I got a bit of salad, we all eat salad. Here is some lettuce. Um, I like lettuce, as I said, yeah, for Caesar salad, because I do make a lot of that type of salads. And I got sweet and crunchy salad where I would add like cucumber, I would add tomato or olives and things like that. So this is already partially prepared salad, so, and it does contain two servings. If I need to rush or I don't have time to make anything, I would just do salad. I could um, fry a halloumi or fry some sausage or anything like that, like anything proteiny kind of thing, um, and just mix it with mayo or whatever dressing and yeah, that's my lunch pretty much and it's quick, it's cheap and it's healthy and it's good for your diet. And another thing is wild rocket. I love wild rocket. Generally, I love rocket salad. So I could have the rocket with mozzarella and tomato and things like that. And then I got the pet mixed peppers. Talking about the peppers, they're good in general for keto diet, but the best of them is the green pepper because it contains the least amount of sugar. That's something worth bearing in mind. This little bad boy, all of us, we love cucumber. Like literally everybody's eating cucumber in, in this family. So we all, like whoever goes to the shop always would get a cucumber. So that's the reason why I'm having a cucumber here. When I'm going to the shop, Especially now because it's a season, I got strawberries and I also get blueberries. Those are my, they just have to be in the fridge because kids love them and myself. And not only I eat it as a snack, but I also like to have it as a dessert. If I do have a dessert, most of the times that's my meal because I just, because of the fasting, because of the intermittent fasting, I tend not to eat too often because you physically cannot squeeze in like today. Um, now it's almost three o'clock, I still haven't eaten because I had to take my oldest kid for um, some sports practice and stuff. Um, yeah, so I didn't have time to eat breakfast and to be fair, I'm not hungry. I had my electrolyte drink and I just put the water on uh, about to have my coffee, but I'm enjoying the lightness that I'm having when I'm not eating. Obviously, you need to eat. Obviously, we all need to be healthy. But also, because of the intermittent fasting, I feel like, good job, Inga. Well done. You've been fasting. You've been getting your calories burned. So I walked quite a lot today already. And yeah, so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Therefore, as I said, if I do have um, my berries with cream, that's a meal for me already. So I would have something something and berries and cream and that's it i'm done for the day i got nuts i got some pecans 
and it contains 1.6 grams of carbs. Was I hiding myself? Hello. But that's per serving of 30 grams. I like to put them in my desserts and I like to snack on them as well. It's just a good thing to have. And then I got almonds, but almonds again is for snack, for desserts and stuff. So another good thing for keto diet. We finally have come to an end. And I will say last but not least, because it's really super important. Oops, I just broke it. <laughs> uh, chocolate. I got Little's black chocolate and this is 95% of cocoa and it only contains 0.3 grams of sugar, which is brilliant. I'm not really a black chocolate lover. I prefer milk chocolate, white chocolate, like I adore white chocolate. But yeah, I've lately been eating black chocolate, which I completely used to refuse. And I'm enjoying, but I think again, it's because my taste buds, because of the keto diet, and obviously because of not messing it all up with um, sweetened, naturally like sugary things. Um, my taste buds have improved, so, but everyone who is on keto or, or any low carb diet and are not messing it all up, you all know guys how it is. Um, yes, and then I have the 85% chocolate. Haven't tried them yet to be fair, but looking forward to it. And I got three because, just because. I'm done. I'm done with my shopping haul. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some ideas for your own shopping. If you did, let me know in comments down below what was your favorite thing that you saw and you possibly would buy yourself or what is it that you buy from Lidl when you do your keto shopping. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already and hit the like button if you did like this video. And also, don't forget about the notification button because that will let you know um, about any of my upcoming videos. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.